hey guys welcome 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 well so look at an interesting video it's called we are the joint so i'll teach you how to join with the joint today but please subscribe to my channel very very important so having subscribed this is what we'll have at our end diagram all right guys so let's so given this question first of all we need to analyze this question first now you can see the direction of the arrow the center arrow will be building okay now in this question how do we know what and where to start from now if you look at there's um there's the number up there five okay before the numbers in brackets this number is called or this part of this part of this um weather joint is called the size of the world why this one here with brackets are called the length of the world the bracket represents not weld why the ones with that bracket represents weld now how do you know it's weld now this part this other part which is the one up and then the one down is called the arrow part the arrow part now comes in this part of the arrow is why the other part comes in that other part so let's draw First thing I'll do is I have to keep my ruler horizontally straight. And I'm representing this this diagram in a 3D shape, three-dimensional object that is in a normal isometric drawing. So with my 30 degree set square, I give my baseline. And then since I'm I'm starting with the arrow side, okay, that means I will have to make it face towards the right. So I'm making it face this way. Now watch what I'll do. That is, I'm saying my front view now be towards the right part, not towards the left part. So I'll draw this um, straight. I'm using one cm here, and then the length here. I'm using fifty for the length. Okay. Then I'm also using one cm up. And then I join. Now coming over to that up part, so I'll get the, the midpoint of 50, which is 25, and I'll go 0 0.5 front, 0 0.5 back to give you one CMD. I want to use one here. Having done that, I'll have to place my um, ruler horizontally, and then with my set square, I go 90 degrees up. That's a straight line up. In, with regards to those points I just marked, I'll make this length of this line 30 millimeters. Now join. And this is what we have for the front view, okay? Now let's draw the side view. So with this front view already, we can maneuver the side view. So with my side square, I just elongate and keep elongating. So make sure the ruler is straight. My ruler is straight despite the way the video is, but it's actually straight on my drawing sheet. It's just because I had the camera is tilted. So how do you know the total length of this side view now? Is to sum that length of wheel, sum it. So we have 25 plus 10 plus 5 plus, plus 10 will give you 70. So I'm using 70 for my side view. So I'll just do some elongation and then I've marked 70 already as a side view length. So from that 70 point, I'll just draw it up straight one seam and then I'll join. Okay. I have my ruler back horizontally and then if I set square, just complete the idea. Now, I'm so sorry that I was lacking space, so my drink kind of got stuck or well, edited the question. But it won't affect what we are actually asked to do. So let's start our welding. Remember that there's a 5 up there. I told you it's the size of the weld in that portion. Okay. So I'm going 5 up. 5 up. Okay. And then from this point, also go five down this serve as the size of our world so i'll join those two point i marks up and down now i'll do the same thing too on the other edge of this isometric block remember we are welding the other side that is the one up okay that is one by the left that's the other side all right i'll do something too on this other side this side here five five and then i will join those two now okay so having done that let's start our welding remember i told you the ones in brackets means we will not weld them why the ones without brackets means we will weld them okay so starting with the first one 25 you have to make sure 25 up 25 down then max and then join the line the next was 10 and i measured 10 up 10 down I'm joining those points then. We are rolling 10, remember, just bear it in mind. Then, so instead of again in brackets, that means we're not rolling that part. We just mark it and then draw the line. And then the last one is 10. 
mark okay so just automatically correspond now remember i told you the ones with that bracket to wear them that's how i'm shading them you would put the wear that portion with a shading line or hash line so remember the two ten there are not are welded so we're shading them why is the size of five are not welded that's why we didn't shade those parts so i just complete it by coming down and then fixing it together okay so guys this is actually what we have for the other part that is the parts on the left hand side uh, actually it's actually my left but it might be your same left so yes all right so I'll just taking the parts and then let's continue that's why for the other yes we are for the arrow parts now to wait for the arrow parts I have to repeat this geometric block and draw it afresh that is I'll repeat the same process and redraw this asymmetric block but this time it will face the other way so that we can weld the arrow part of it that is the right part of it okay so I'm I'm putting my front view by the left part so that the right part can show well so as norm I'll put my 30 degrees and then draw it my center line one cm now I'm putting my front view this way so my 50 cm will come towards the left okay I go one cm up please make sure you use your appropriate instruments I'm kind of used to it that's why I'm making straight line fast so I did one cm that's 0 0.5 0 0.5 and I went up 30 millimeter. So I am joining and then I'll get my set square. Okay, by this other edge, remember there is 70 for this side will be 70. Max 70 and then go up there. Um if you are new to the channel, please endeavor to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. It's very important you subscribe to my channel. If you found this video helpful and be able to give it a thumbs up. The comment section is very open for anybody to drop questions or leave comments. If you like this video, if you want to appreciate me, you can comment. If you want to tell me the video you want me to upload next, you can also use the comment section. So, add the question to the comment section. Now, um, I'm dedicating this video to students in, in reverses university because it's actually what one of my fan requests requested for in a previous video. So having drawn this, let's start our world. Now if it comes down, you see the size of the world down there is 10 times 5. And this is a kind of complex kind of size of world. And this means that the length will be 10, while the breadth will be 5 millimeters. Remember, all dimension millimeters. So I'm going up 10, but down now 5. Remember in the other one, in the other part, we did 5, 5. But this one, I was doing 10 times 5, that is 10 up and 5 down so after marking i just joined the points and you can see the difference between those two so i'll do the same thing too on the other parts that is this extra end parts 10 and 5 and also uh, join it together then i'll join this lines horizontally up and down so i haven't done that let's start building now, if you look at the length of the world in respect to the arrow part, you see the first one is here is 10, sorry, 20, I guess, then 25 in bracket, that means I'm not writing 25. And then you see 10 there again. 10 is not in bracket, that means we'll write that 10, and you have 25. 25 is automatically aligned with the last. So 10. So I'm already one we're then we are weld and they were not welding. So the first one is inside is not a bracket, so we weld 20. Repeating to its hash line. Then we are also welding 10. The many parts are not to be welded. That's why it's actually good to have a solid idea in isometric drawing before coming into into drawing. So I'm just taking my lines because we're actually getting to the climax of this video. Alright guys, so this is actually how it looks like. So I just had to do a finishing touch. So I'll say once more, please remember to subscribe to this channel. And the next part of our video would be complex riveted joints. Now, if you ever heard of double riveted, double strap, zigzag butt joints or lap joints, I'll leave a video in the description part of this video where you can learn how to draw it. But guys, finally, finally, this is the solution to the question of this. This is the past question for reverses university. Thank you guys for watching today's video and see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.